Hey guys, this is Alex from FitLab, and welcome to our comparison of the Garmin Training Load versus Polar's Training Load Pro. You'll find the links to the products in the description, and you can use the links to check the latest prices and other user reviews. Make sure to watch until the end to know our final verdict on which is better. So, the main difference is the training load tracking. When it comes to training load metrics, the Garmin performs better than the Polar. But the Polar has an edge when it comes to recovery suggestions. Most of the Garmin watches will come with the Garmin Coach, as well as automatic blood oxygen saturation measurements, VO2 max estimation, running dynamics analysis, and training stats, load, recovery, effect, and recovery time estimations. You should see the training status about the body battery on the app. The requirement for you having the training status appear is that you need two runs of five minutes in length. You'll need the running profile that is coupled with GPS and heart rate monitoring for this. You can also find this tab under performance stats, then training status. The Polar watches are precise running wearables, and you can track a lot of recovery features, including Recovery Pro, Nightly Recharge, Sleep Stage Plus, and various training features like Hill Splitter, Fuel Wise, Running Indies, and FitSpark. Design The Polar watches are more streamlined than the Garmin ones. The Polar watches have this round face and are more streamlined than the Garmin watches. They're often made with glass fiber reinforced with polymer. The bezel can either be aluminum or stainless steel. You will have different lens material on the watches, with the Garmin coming with the Gorilla Glass protection and the Polar with the glass fiber reinforced polymer. For the straps, you get silicone on all watches. For the Garmin, the Phoenix models come in Corning Gorilla Glass DX, with bezel being titanium made, stainless steel, or diamond-like carbon DLC. Battery life. Garmin watches offer better battery life than the Polar watches. Most of the Garmin watches will give you up to 14 days on smartwatch mode, compared to up to 7 days for the Polar watch. You also get up to 36 hours on GPS mode, compared to 20 hours and 30 hours for the Polar watches. Note that Garmin also has its solar-enabled watches, which can last longer due to sunlight. Apps The Garmin app is easier to navigate than the Polar one. The Garmin app will give you the daily summaries on the homepage, and it's generally easier to navigate than the Polar app. However, it does not have Google Fit or Apple Health. The Polar Flow app lacks in terms of the user interface, which may make it hard for new users to navigate. Specifications Comparison From the table, you can note that the Garmin has a wider product range than the Polar watches. The app is also more user-friendly, with a nice interface, when compared to the Polar watches. Similarities Both watches will come with an app for tracking your load. The Garmin app is a bit easier to use, and tracks more metrics than the Polar app. The latter may need some redesigns as the graphics are a bit off, and it makes it harder to use. Garmin has added some high elevation impact and recovery tracking, which Polar was doing quite well in. Both watches come with extensive battery life, but the Garmin has a slight edge in that it has solar-powered watches. This means they can last quite a while longer before needing a recharge. Which is better? Our winner is the Garmin Training Load because it has more specificity and details compared to the Polar training load, which is what you want for your workout. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Also, do let us know in the comments section which one you prefer between these two and why. Which other comparisons would you like to see next from us? Let us know in the comments.